Hey guys, Ronan back. Uh, another episode of Ghost in the Shell uh, Standalone Complex. We're on Season 2, Episode 3. Uh, episode's called Cash Eye. Um, so, last time we were kind of... That was definitely a standalone episode um, with the guy that was just fantasizing about doing terrorist acts and being a hero and, you know, things like that. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, we may be getting another standalone episode this time here. Um, this one's about a thief, and I think I remember like some things about it. Um, actually, I only th I think I only remember what the uh, the major was wearing in this episode. I think we get we're, I think we're getting a lot of eye candy this episode. So, uh, um, so yeah, I think we should just dive into it uh, in in that case. So. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, please, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, um, and thank you to all my patrons, uh, who have jumped on the Patreon so far. Um, I do have a Patreon and, uh, we are three weeks ahead of YouTube. So, um, so yeah, feel free to jump on that if you want. Um, and, uh, we'll go ahead and get this started. I like how the acoustic drums on this track kind of transition over to um, a more synthetic beat while still being able to transition well. Usually that's really hard to do to uh, to mix acoustic instruments and um, and like synth and things like that and, and get the tones right to be able to, to blend them in. Just the musician in me kind of analyzing this. Good God. <laughs> She's really the only thing I remember on this episode for good reason, as you can see. She's breaking into somewhere. I don't know what this place is though. I don't know how she's sticking on the walls. I'm assuming it's her suit. Stop. We get it. Okay. You're ridiculous. Hm. It's kind of crazy to see like how talented the major is. She really could be anything she ever wanted to be. I've lost faith in the ability of our local police and even my own security company ever since that e-money burglary incident. It's right here. I received this warning from him yesterday on his... This guy already seems pretty scummy. ...nervous and made the decision to store all of my assets as cash. So that's the reason why I have my entire fortune locked <laughs> away in this building's... I mean, it'd be hard to not look at her. When the next crime is to be committed, that is tomorrow night, a secret party is going to be held, which will be attended by many of the major players of the financial and political worlds. It isn't something that an uncultured or unsophisticated person can attend. You know, you and your team came highly recommended by the Prime Minister, and now I understand why. I can almost smell her white blood from here. Major Kusanagi is not an android. My apologies. Definitely, definitely, definitely scummy. Regardless of her personal impressions of the man, she's doing this to force through deadlock reforms. It's also a smart move that'll help sweep away lingering ghosts of the last administration. Speaking of female anger, I don't like being forced to play along with this. This really doesn't strike me as a job that's worth giving up my vacation time for. Yeah, we're gonna be surrounded by more scumming people, I think. Still, the thought of a big ritzy shindig for these men. Politicos and financiers to show off the sex dolls they hide from their wives blows my mind. The foreign affairs minister is making his entrance. Didn't he learn his lesson? <laughs> That guy is... I'm depressed. Hey, the car with the chief and the major is pulling up. This ought to be a sight to see. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, everybody in Section 9. <laughs> Check it out. Huh? One of the bastards just copped a field. 
these guys are lucky she's undercover she would like rip their mar- freaking arms off she'd probably do something like fucking crazy though like hack them and like make them do crazy shit to each other <laughs> what do you say miss would you like me to take you on a grand tour of the place i'd love to that has to be like so difficult for her to to kind of play along right now the major is trying to obtain the chairman's retinal and cyber brain patterns well, unless we get the door open, it won't matter. I'm having a hard time not paying attention to the shadows in the background. <laughs> what do you think? Each one is made by a famous designer from scratch. They're truly haute couture. Their bodies have capabilities not much different from those of your own prosthetic one. What do you say? Want to try one? All right. Commence the operation. Have you ever tried playing with a human being the way that you would with a puppet? This is like so awkward. <laughs> like I probably made it further than anybody <laughs> for that matter, you know. Stop there. What do you want? Oh, that I think there's has been hasn't there been like some like female stuff going on um with the major? She kind of swings wherever direction she wants, right? I'm not too familiar with like with that avenue with with, with her life. No. We wait for the major. I'm already here. Get the patterns? Of course. It would have been easier if we just brain dove the chairman and brought him down here with So I'm trying to f- still trying to figure out what why they're trying to break in there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's doing like some sh- shady shit, but I don't know if they mentioned it already, but I'm just trying to figure out like what's the whole deal. Like I get he's part of like the old administration. And the prime minister is like, hey, this guy sucks. Up. And I guess it's like her way of like kind of cleaning out the old administration. I think that's what they were saying before. Well, I'll be back <laughs> soon. Jeez. Chairman, here's where you've been all this time. Chief, come to the control room right away. It looks as if the thief got by us somehow. Hey, what? Tachkoma, what's your status? Ready and waiting. Just give the word, Major. Kind of like circling back over to like what I said about the Major before about being able to do whatever she wants. It's like, uh, you know, definitely, she definitely can, especially with the help of all of Section 9. And I'm just like looking at this, I'm just like, this isn't even like what they do. And like they're getting this far uh, into being able to break into a vault like this and like be thieves if they wanted to be it's the android from yesterday she may think she's about to break into the vault but she's in for a surprise the bitch will get trapped like a thieving rat we also received this another card with a second warning aramaki come with me we're going down to the vault i want your professional verification that her death was the result of justifiable self-defense so he intends to kill her it doesn't matter if she's a cyborg. No one can survive that. Come on, what are you waiting for? Just trying not to kill our, our teammate here. Chief, the major is... <clears throat> I look like she got caught in there. <laughs> Did you find her? We haven't found a single trace. I'm sorry I'm late. It's just that Chairman Tadokoro was such an amazing man. When you saw me going inside the vault, that was a virtual image created by the Tachikoma. Oh. Since these stacks of banknotes are here, I assume they all belong to you, correct? Of course they do. What are you trying to get at? Ah. We needed to gain access so that we could check the serial numbers on the currency you've got here. Huh? We received a tip that you were managing the hidden assets of former party secretary Yakashima. So we conducted an internal investigation to determine if it was true. Ah. They're the same serial numbers that the tax bureau gave us, all right? You'll have a hard time explaining this one away, won't you? If we took on these guys, the odds are good that we'll turn up even more hidden financial backers. They'll buckle under the pressure. Nice. We got every single one of you. You know, it was kind of fun playing a cat burglar. 
I was worried that we were going to find a vacuum pack major in that vault. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Will you two stop with this cat burglar nonsense already? The work is piling up here, people. Maybe I really should consider a new line of work. That would actually be kind of cool, even if it was like a fake beach, to be able to like have one generated for you and then you can just hang out and whatnot. Huh, that episode seemed really quick. Huh. Yeah, I feel like I didn't really get to chime in a whole lot because it was just like quick explanation and money heist and, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of like my big takeaway from that was just like how multi talented everybody is and, um, they could really do anything they want, really. Like, cause if you can pull off crap like that, I would like, what, what couldn't you pull off at that point? You know, you could, you could be anything you want and they choose to do this. And, uh, but I mean, they're really good at it too. But it's, it's also kind of, it also has to be kind of, um, you know, kind of like what they were doing there. It, it must be kind of like a, not a vacation, but just, um, something to kind of mix things up and make it interesting. Maybe that's why they do it too, is that every job they do is so different. So it's like, um, you know, th there's no, um, monotony uh, about it. It's, it's, it's very, um, you know, there's a lot of different layers to their job and it's very diverse and, uh, it keeps them interested in, in doing it. You know, they get to, they, they get to make the world a better place, uh, as best they can. And, uh, and there's like a lot of different ways that they can do it, you know? So that's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of eye candy in this one. Some some awkward moments too. Uh, you know, she's she's playing along, but you're just kind of like, this guy's like super creepy. But I mean, you know, even even though he didn't really get to do anything, he still got to do a whole lot more than than most people will ever get to uh, with the major. So, you know, he shot his shot. You know, so. Uh, gotta give him some credit, I guess, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, that was a fun episode. Uh, I enjoyed that one, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for me, but thanks guys for watching and, uh, and I'll see you next time.